praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you. God bless you. Uh, you are welcome to Moment of Victory. And by the special grace of God, we continue the series, Look and Live. But today we have a very, very serious talk. You want to check the Bible and see some deep things. And I pray that the truth of God will help us. And all of us will benefit from this series in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to close our eyes right now and begin to talk to the Lord. Say, Oh Lord, touch me tonight. Oh Lord, touch me tonight. Open my eyes. Open my understanding. Answer my prayer. Help me, O oh God, today in the name of Jesus. Encounter me afresh. Reveal yourself to me, Father. Strengthen me, O oh God. Empower me, Father. Do something deep in my life today. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to pray this prayer before we continue this series. I want to listen to this before you pray. There are problems. And there are problems. There's a problem that suffocates faith. There are some problems. The, 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 the purpose of that problem in your life is to kill your faith. Because you know that is the strength you have in Christ. There are some suffocating problems. So it is very good for somebody to pray that Lord, do not allow the problem that will consume or suffocate my faith happen in my life. We are going to pray. Say, oh Lord, my Father, empower me. Do not allow problem that will suffocate my life and my faith to happen in my life in the name of your letter. Begin to pray that prayer. Father, empower me. Do not allow the problem that will suffocate my faith in you to happen in my life in the name of Jesus. Don't allow me, O oh God, to be suffocated. Don't allow problem that will consume my faith to happen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, don't allow me, O oh God, to go down suddenly. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say powers that want to disgrace my Christian life. Say powers that want to disgrace my Christian life. That want to mock God in my life. Die in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that prayer, any power that I want to disgrace or mock my God. Through what I'm passing through, I command that power to die in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power that I want to mock God in my life. Any power that I want to mock God in my life. I command you to die in the name of Jesus Christ. Say that prayer, very important. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, pray. Say, O oh Lord, uphold me. In the time of trouble, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, uphold me in the time of trouble. Oh Lord, uphold me in the time of trouble. Oh Lord, uphold me in the time of trouble. Oh Lord, uphold me in the time of trouble in the name of Jesus. Lord, uphold me, oh God, in the time of trouble in the name of Jesus. Uphold me, oh God, make me stand, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Uphold me in the time of trouble in the name of Jesus. Uphold me, oh Lord, uphold me, oh Lord, uphold me, oh Lord, uphold me, oh Lord. Ask the Lord to uphold you in the time of trouble. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my life will not disappoint you, Lord. My life will not disappoint Jesus. Say it loud and clear. Declare it. My life will not disappoint Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My Christian life will not disappoint Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My life will not disappoint heaven. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Wonderful Redeemer, King of Glory. We thank you. We worship you. We exalt you. We raise you. We thank you because you are backbone, our strength, and our power. Lord, we pray that open our understanding, empower us, O Lord, to stand. Lord, uphold us, O Lord, in the time of trouble. Thank you, wonderful Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's open our eyes. You know, today we have very deep discussion. And let's turn our Bible to First Chronicles chapter 10. First Chronicles chapter 10. We want to see the account of a person in the scripture. And uh, I pray that God will give us a uh, lesson and revelation through it. I want to talk on this very briefly. This is the topic. 
who do you consult in the time of trouble? It's a good question. Who do you consult in the time of trouble? Who do you consult in the time of trouble? Let's do the account of uh, a man in the Bible. First Chronicles chapter 10, look at verse 13. So Saul, so Saul died for his transgression which he committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord, which he kept not, and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it. That is his sin. So he failed woefully. He failed God. He transgressed against the Lord, he transgressed against the word of the Lord that entrapped him in the time of trouble. Who do you consult in the time of trouble? Look at verse 14. And inquire not of the Lord. Therefore, he slew him and turned the kingdom unto David, the son of Jesse. Very simple and direct. So Saul died for his transgression, which he committed against the Lord. Even against the word of the Lord, two things. Against the Lord and against the word. Have you ever received the word of God? And you are not, you are not treasuring the word of God, you are thinking with the left hand? Hmm. The word of God had power to judge. Which he kept not. And also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it and inquire not of the Lord. Therefore, he slew him and turned the kingdom unto David, the son of Jesse. Who do you consult in the time of trouble? There is a popular assertion that talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. It's easier for anybody to talk, to say anything when there's no trouble. And it's very true. It is a lot easier to talk about things than to do them. You can talk about anything. You can use your mouth to build anything. Some people you sit down in a particular place and they build mansion with their mouth alone. Some people can cook a pot of soup sitting down. But they don't even know how to put the condiment together. So, talk is very cheap. So, the proof of our Christian maturity, whether we are mature or not, is how we react in a time of trouble. Many Bible scholars, they talk so loudly about King Saul's attitude. During his ordeal, many will bring it out and begin to talk, 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 talk. But lot of these modern day Christians, they are falling cheaply into the same error when their problem comes. King Saul action insulted the Trinity of God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, including the word of the Lord. And Jesus is the word anyway. The Spirit of God that enthroned him is sin against the Spirit of God. When the problem on King Saul came, Bible says he transgressed against God, the Lord, Jesus Christ. He transgressed against the Word. He transgressed against God, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He now transgressed against the Word that made flesh. Which is the word of God, which is Jesus Christ Himself, by consultation with familiar spirits. Please listen. The issue of familiar spirits is all over. Many people prophesy by familiar spirits. Many people preach by familiar spirits. Many people see vision by familiar spirits. Many people go to familiar spirits. The same thing Paul did. Please listen. Many Christians nowadays sin against the word of God. When they are passing through challenges, when the word of God alone cannot comfort you, cannot comfort you 
or it cannot calm you down, it's not enough for you, and you are looking for something else, you are going to familiar spirits. It is a sin against the world. When the word of God is not enough, when the word of God cannot comfort you, when the word of God alone cannot give you rest. Having reading the Bible, you are still agitation, you are still a lot of agitation in you, you are still running up and down, you are still crying up and down, you are still saying the same thing, you still have your fear even after you are receiving the word of the Lord. The next thing that will happen is what happened to Saul. People will just go and consult medium, consult familiar spirits. It's a sin against the word of God. When you cannot hold on to the word of God again, when it seems the word of God is powerless, when it seems the word of God is delayed, a lot of people consult familiar power, forces, spirits, in form of prophets when trouble comes. Saul died because he failed to rely on God totally during crisis. We need to pay attention to this area. So that the error of Saul will not get hold of us. I pray for you, you will not fall into the error of King Saul in the name of Jesus. So it's very easy nowadays to fall into the error of Saul. Many are falling repeatedly into the error of Saul when they are not comfortable with the word of God alone. They want to join something with the word of God. The word of God is quick. The word of God is powerful. It's sharper than any two edges sword. Bible says, and he sent his word and he healed them. I delivered them from their destruction. So the word of God is potent enough to heal and to deliver. I repeat, the word of God is potent enough to heal, to deliver, to give you breakthrough, to reshape your life, or restructure your life, and give you a future. The word of the Lord is Jesus Christ himself. You need to hold on to the word of God. I encourage you today, hold on to God in all season of your life. Hold on to the word. He has promised never to forsake you. You will never see shame or reproach in your life. Look and live. Look for his word. There is life inside his word. Look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher. The author and the finisher is the author and the finisher. The alpha and omega. Know the beginning and the end of everything. Is the ancient of days, the Alpha and Omega, looking unto Jesus. There is no problem you have that you cannot get answer in Christ. Hold on to the word of God. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I am the one that redeems you. You belong to me. Let the word of God be enough for us. Hold on to the wall. As you pray your prayer and are holding on to the wall, you will not be put to shame. You will live full of your glory in the name of Jesus. Don't fall into the error of King Saul. Don't allow anything to push you and be consulting other gods. God is a jealous God. He doesn't want us to share us with anything. You will never fail. You will never fall. You will never falter. In the name of Jesus, hold on to the word of God. Treasure the word of God. Do like Jeremiah did. He saw the word of the Lord and he heard the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord was digested and assimilated in his system. And he got to a time the word of the Lord became fire inside his bones. No word I say, I cannot forbid, I can't keep quiet because your word is shut up inside my bones. The word of God is enough. What are you doing with the word? Not just to read the word casually. When you read the word, you meditate on the word, you digest the word. Let the word be part of you. Let it bring out rema. Let it bring out life. There is life. If you can digest the word of God, if you can hit it very well, there is life in it. When the life of Christ, the life of the world enter into you, your life will never remain the same. Saul sinned against the Lord. Saul sinned against the word of the Lord. Because he consulted familiar spirit instead of him to hold on to the word of God. As you are holding on to the word of God, you will never be put to shame 
in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray this prayer before you go today. Say, oh Lord, uphold me in the time of trouble. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray that prayer again, oh Lord. Uphold me in the time of trouble. In the name of Jesus. Uphold me in the time of trouble. Oh Lord, uphold me in the time of trouble. Oh Lord, uphold me in the time of trouble. Let the word of God uphold me in the time of trouble. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, oh Lord, give me grace to stand in the darkest time, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, give me grace to stand in the darkest time of my life, in the name of Jesus. Give me grace to stand, oh God, in the darkest time of my life, in the name of Jesus. Give me grace to stand, oh God, in the darkest time of my life, in the name of Jesus. Give me grace to stand. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my life shall not fail God. My life shall not fail the word of God in the name of Jesus. My life shall not fail God. My life shall not fail the word of God. My life shall not fail God. My life shall not fail the word of God. My life shall not fail God. My life shall not fail the word of God in the name of Jesus. My life shall not fail God. It will not fail the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ. My life shall not fail God. It will not fail the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ. My life shall not fail God. My life shall not fail the word of God in Jesus' name we pray. Decree loudly now. Say, I decree loudly today, I shall not be wasted by the waster of this generation in the name of Jesus Christ. I shall not be wasted by the waster of this generation in the name of Jesus Christ. I shall not be wasted by the waste of this generation in the name of Jesus Christ. I shall not be wasted by the waste of this generation in the name of Jesus Christ. I shall not be wasted by the waste of this generation in the name of Jesus Christ. I shall not be wasted in Jesus' name. We pray. Say, blood of Jesus, protect me from all evil in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, protect me from all evil. 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 Protect me from all evil in Jesus' name. Pray. Say this one loud and clear. Say powers that want me to serve other gods. Scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. Powers that want me to serve other gods, especially in the time of trouble. I scatter you in the name of Jesus. I will not serve other God. I will not serve other God. I will not serve other God. I will serve the living God, the God of Israel, in the name of Jesus Christ. I will not serve other God in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will uphold me. The Lord will strengthen me in the name of Jesus. Thank you, wonderful Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Wow. God bless you. God bless you. God will increase you. God will put you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Don't forget, you see what we are discussing today is very deep in a time of temptation, in a time of evil, in a time of uh, wickedness. We need to hold on to God. It's not the time for you to be alone. Just be alone with God. Don't be alone with yourself. Be alone with God. Don't forget every moment of resistance to temptation is a victory. Never, never give up. Don't succumb to temptation. Don't allow temptation to pull you down. Don't consult any other God. Jesus is enough for you. Every moment of resistance to temptation is a victory. Never, never give up. God bless you. Bye bye. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for your life. I want to thank you for listening to us. God is a great God. God is a wonderful Father. Jesus said, that he is the light of the world, that anyone that walketh in him shall not walk in darkness any longer, but shall have the light of life. As you are listening to us, following us on this moment of victory, I pray that every form of darkness in your life, the light of the gospel shall destroy it. In the name of Jesus Christ, no darkness will overshadow your life or destroy your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, don't forget every moment of resistance to a temptation is a victory. Never, never give up. Jesus is by your side. You are on top. It is well with you. Same time next week. God bless you. Thank you. Bye. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, Lagos Region 1, presents Moment of Victory online series. Watch live impacting episodes of Luke and Live series with Pastor Dr. Moses Adebowale, Senior Regional Overseer, MFM Lagos Region 1, every Tuesday by 9 p.m. on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Audio also available on Mixlar at MFM Lagos Region 1. Remember, every moment of resistance to temptation is a victory. Never, never give up. God bless you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministry. Sure, sure, the Lord, the Lord is here.